Universities have a crucial role to play in driving an industrial strategy and future economic growth for the UK. Through a number of multi-million pound state-of-the-art research centres and a wide range of industrial relationships, the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Strathclyde is truly playing their part. Sarah Lockett went to visit the university and some of their research centres to find out more. At the University of Strathclyde's £65 million advanced forming research centre in Glasgow, the ties between academia and industry couldn't be closer. University staff work full-time with corporate partners on R&D projects. They heat, shape, finish, measure, test and analyse metal parts to develop cutting-edge new manufacturing techniques. We work absolutely hand-in-hand -hand with industry here. Some of our customers have full-time permanent members of staff based in the FRC site. So for the university to be able to say not only that it has the good ideas, but it translates them into a, you know, a real-life production environment, we can point at parts of aircraft and say that we helped figure out how to measure that, how to make that, what to do there, how to take cost out of the process of doing so. And not just aircraft, medical devices, automotive systems, renewable energy systems. We work across the sectors in a huge range of technologies and applications. Among the companies based here is Rolls-Royce. Most of the project work that we do with the AFRC is associated with making sure we're exploiting the best techniques for forming metals and we're accessing the most modern equipment, technology and processes that are available to help us exploit those. The cost savings that we can make through our relationship with the Advanced Forming Research Centre are really quite significant. We're looking at percentage cost savings of 20, 30, 40 percent on the components that we manufacture. In the centre of Glasgow is the university's technology and innovation centre, known as the Tick Building. The University of Strathclyde's single biggest investment in research and technology collaboration is this building, £90 million worth, and inside some 1,200 researchers, engineers and project managers, both from industry and from the academic world, are working side by side, and both of those sides benefit. In the last um, 10 to 15 years, universities have been looking to show um, the outputs of their academic work and that's being measured by the government who want to see the benefit of the HI sector to UK PLC. Many of our staff are actually encouraged to get out of the university campus and go and work with companies. That involves us going to their premises, establishing the kind of capabilities that they have, but also the limitations, and then together find something of mutual benefit. Inside the building is the Centre for Ultrasonic Engineering, the co-siting of academics, corporate partners and several international research centres here is bearing fruit. In order to have that impact, actually what you need to be good at is not only talking with your customers, with your, client, with your stakeholders, but also ensuring that there's good cross-disciplinary interaction. So our engineers are really great, not just at working with the problem owners, but also at going out to scientists, computer scientists, to people from the business school, just what's needed to solve a particular problem. In the Department of Biomedical Engineering, or BME, undergraduate students fine-tune prosthetics and orthotics devices. The department has partnered with several companies to commercialise its innovations. That's new devices, techniques and technologies. Every year, students also fundraise to go on summer placements at a prosthetics clinic in India. The students and the staff will spend time in the Mukti Clinic in Chennai. They'll treat patients, sometimes up to 30 patients a day, so it's a significant number of patients that have been treated there. And the idea really is not just to treat the patients, but to train the local prosthetists and orthotists, so to, to transfer those skills to the local community. The students get a lot out of it. One of the beauties of being a university is that you have state-of-the-art measurement equipment or test equipment or uh, sensing equipment and these things the regular SME wouldn't have access to but as part of a relationship with Strathclyde they can then take that and use that to develop new innovative products. The engineering faculty also runs training courses for clients from one-day courses to master's degrees. In this way too, businesses from large multinationals to SMEs and startups benefit from the university's capabilities.